Welcome to this video in which I am going to explain the difference between DevOps, AWS DevOps, and Azure DevOps. A lot of students have always asked me this question, what is the difference between all of these different DevOpses? There is an AWS DevOps certification. There is also Azure DevOps certification. Which one should I take? When I join a DevOps training, am I taking an AWS DevOps training? Am I taking Azure DevOps training? Or is it a different DevOps altogether? Is there something called as a DevOps certification? Today in this video, in the next five to six minutes, you will have the answer for this question. So I request you to watch completely and then you will get a complete idea about this. So before we go ahead and I explain this, I quickly wanted to let you know about my course in Udemy that is called as 50 DevOps interview questions and answer. Here I have explained 50 different questions in the world of DevOps. I have also explained what are the meanings of these questions? I have also briefly explained about the technology details and how to answer them. If you are interested in this particular 50 DevOps interview questions and answer, you can go to Udemy. The coupon code is there in my link in the description. You can open that, search it and enroll. Also, if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one live mock interview preparation, you can also reach out to me and the link is in the description and needless to say there is always the 30 minutes free devops career discussion you can always reach out to me again the link is in the description let us now understand what is this all devops thing and what is something that i should start learning it's very easy in my opinion to understand if you have understood the pillars of devops I have already made a video about what are the pillars of DevOps. If you have not watched it, go to my channel and read the pillars of DevOps. But basically in the pillars of DevOps, what we are telling is we speak about the CI CD. Then we speak about cloud. We speak about containerization, alerting and monitoring. On a high level, these are the four things that we speak about. Now, in the world of DevOps, we can achieve this with either open source technologies or paid ones, okay? I'm only speaking of DevOps, okay? So if we speak about open source, we have Jenkins. If we speak about paid ones, we have GitHub Actions, right? Or GitLab, etc. Then to use cloud, we have open source cloud also available. If you want to use like Heroku, et cetera, or if you want to use paid version, then we have AWS, GCP, Azure. Why cloud is required? To have servers, to have network, et cetera, okay? Speaking about containerization, you can always use Docker and K8s, and you can customize it and deploy it on, let's say, EC2 instances. You maintain the dockerization, you maintain the Kubernetes cluster. And speaking about monitoring alerting, the open source, we have Prometheus, Grafana, and in the paid version, uh, we can use Datadog, etc. So this is DevOps. So the idea here is you have to achieve all the pillars of the DevOps using any of the open source or paid tools. And this is what we call achieving or having a DevOps culture in a company. Okay, so what is AWS DevOps and what is Azure DevOps then? I believe you already found the answer, didn't you? If we achieve the pillars of DevOps using any of the AWS built tool or Azure built tool, 
then that is aws or azure devops just to give you some example i'll give example with respect to aws okay can i do ci cd in aws using aws2 definitely we have code commit code deploy right and code pipeline so this is about ci cd and if you are company uses all of this in aws then aws devops is something that you can focus on completely cloud aws already there you can use it containerization we have ecs and we have eks for kubernetes so here you are not uh, setting up kubernetes cluster you are using a kubernetes cluster service that is set by aws or azure monitoring and alerting you have cloud watch you have uh, the cloud alerts that you can also set up sns and also you have uh, aws prometheus a modified prometheus that is controlled by aws meaning aws has built a customized prometheus for you from the open source one this is aws devops or azure devops so what is the conclusion here the conclusion is azure devops or aws devops uses the tools to achieve the pillar of devops and all of these tools are built by them built by aws or built by azure okay now if this is not the case then you might be using the open source or paid versions of devops tools from other companies like jenkins like prometheus etc this is generalized approach towards devops and it depends on the company's goal on how they will use these pillars of devops in many companies they use only azure devops methodology in many other companies they use the generalized devops methodology because they need flexibility because the business wants it hence these are something in which the company is heading towards with that is the direction of the company okay i believe there is a clear clarity for you now regarding what is a devops what is aws devops and what is azure devops you should have no more confusion around this particular topic after watching this video i hope well that is it for this video my friends if you have liked the explanation if it has cleared your doubt kindly leave a comment uh, and uh, or leave it leave a leave a comment in the description if you need any more videos around like this leave a comment i am happy to create more videos around this information okay thank you and speak to you in the next video